Ano po size ng bra mo? Are your boobies real? <laughs> Is Louise good in bed? <laughs> Fave position. Position saan? Plan a baby this year? Oh my god. Buntis na po ba kayo? Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessie Manjola Manzano and for today's vlog, I will be answering some of the most savage questions about me that I found online and of course, from you guys. A few days ago, I asked my followers on IG to send me some of the most savage questions na gusto nyong itanong sa akin. Medyo grabe yung mga nakita ko guys ha. Parang hindi lang savage yung mga questions. More of like wildest questions. But I will try to answer most of them. May isa pa akong bagay na gagawin. Yes, there's more. I googled myself. I know, hindi dapat natin ginagawa yun. I know, I know, but medyo natikol ako ng curiosity ko kung ano kaya yung mga questions na nakakabit sa pangalan ko. Ayoko nang patagalin pa. Let's start. Uunahin ko muna yung nasa Google. And, ayan na yung search. Ayan na! Okay, first question from Google is Jesse Mendiola age. I'm 28 years old. Jesse Mendiola wedding. Nandito yan sa aking YouTube channel. Ilalagay ko yung link dito para mapanood ninyo. Jesse Mendiola engagement ring. Whoa! The controversial engagement ring. I am wearing it right now. Jesse Mendiola short hair. Wow! Sinesearch pa rin pala talaga yun. Pagupit kasi ako ng super duper ikse a few years back. Siguro ginagawa pang peg na mga tao. Wow! Thank you! I feel flattered. Next naman ay Jesse Mendiola wedding dress. Ang aking wedding dress ay gawa ni Patricia Santos. I made a vlog dedicated talaga sa aking wedding dress. Nandito lang din sa YouTube channel ko. After this vlog, watch it! Chart! Okay, next naman, Jesse Mendiola real name. My real name is Jesse Mendiola Tawile. Yun talaga yung real name ko. Wala akong second name, wala akong ibang name, basta Jesse Mendiola Tawile. But of course, now that I'm married, ang aking pangalan ay Jesse Tawile Manzano. Next naman, Jesse Mendiola and Luis Manzano. Wow! I think automatic naman yun, di ba? Kapag ka may husband ka na and medyo kilala kang tao, pag ginugol ka, igugugol din talaga yung partner mo. Okay, magsa-search na ako ulit. Ah, alam ko na. Pwede tayo mag-start with ABC. Ayan. Jesse Mendiola and AJ Perez. Oh, Sabel days. Oh my gosh. Hi, AJ. Nakakamiss naman si AJ. Siguro sinasearch nila kung saan kami nagsama na project ni AJ. And para din maalala si AJ, makita yung itsura niya ulit online. Ayan, sinasearch nila. Jesse Mendiola ang probinsyano. Nag-guest kasi ako sa probinsyano, I think, 2018. 2018 yun, sure ako. Siguro mga five months. And for the long Longest time, as in, hindi ako nag-teleserye bago ko gawin yung guesting na yun. Kaya medyo nilibago pa ako. But, sobrang bait ng mga tao sa probensyano. And of course, si Coco, for taking care of my character. And sabi din talaga niya, nakakamiss din talaga na makita ako sa teleserye. Thank you so much, Dreamscape, probensyano, Coco, for, you know, giving me that chance. Okay. Jesse Mendiola and Luis Manzano, age gap. Ako, 1992. Siya, 19... 81. 11 years ang age gap namin ni Luis. Actually, for me, it works better kung mas mature yung guy. Kasi tapos na sila sa panahon o kaya sa point ng life nila na gusto nila ng party-party or punta dito, punta doon. Ready na sila to settle down. But that's only based on my experience. Turns out, okay naman din pala yung age gap namin ni Luis. Basta age doesn't matter, guys. Love is lang din talaga. That's all that matters. Okay, next. Jesse Mendiola and Arjo Atay de Movie. Movie namin, Stranded. Galing sa Regal Films. And it was directed by Ice Idanan. I really had fun making that film. As in, kasi ang babait ng cast, ang babait ni Direk Ice, ang babait ng mga tao doon. And ang ganda din ng story. Very light, 
feel good film, yung mga taong naghahanap ng mga sarili nila. Ayan, panoorin niyo ang Stranded. And it's on Netflix. Kala kayo magawa sa bahay, panoorin niyo yun. Let's move on sa Jesse Mendiola B. <laughs> Gusto mo yung ABC? <laughs> Jesse Mendiola B4. Gusto niyo yung makita ko ano yung itsura ko before. Ang dami-daming nagsasabi, nagpareto kaya ako kasi nagbago daw yung ilong ko. Parang sobra lumiit yung face ko. But ang totoo niyan, really pumayat lang din ako and nagmature yung face ko. Kaya feeling ko, mas naging defined yung features ko. And tingnan nyo, makeup lang yan oh. No? Mag nose line kayo tsaka highlighter sa gitna ng ilong. Tatangos din yan. Jesse Mendiola birthday, December 3, 1992. Jesse Mendiola boyfriends, guys, isa lang naging ex ko. Si JM. Yeah, si JM ang aking ex. And ang pangalawa ko naging boyfriend ay si Luis na naging husband ko. Dalawa lang ang naging boyfriends ko. Next naman, Jesse Mendiola biography. Oh, siguro gusto niyo malaman ng mga details about me. Ito na nga, we are answering some of your questions. Next naman, Jesse Mendiola Bouquet. Ah, okay. Sa wedding ko, my bouquet was made by Gideon Hermosa, House of Hermosa. Contrast siya sa white dress ko. I really, really love the color combination nun nung bouquet na yun. Kasi yun talaga yung theme nung wedding namin. Yung mga guests namin, yun yung sinuot. So, thank you, Gideon, for making that beautiful bouquet for me. Jesse Mendiola Business. Business ko ay Lucky and Lulu with Luis. And I am actually going to invest this year sa isang napakagandang business. Medyo confidential siya. I think yun naman din talaga yung goal ko sa aking future. Ang, um, you know, mag-invest sa magagandang business or mag-start ng business na talagang gustong gusto ko. So, I'm working on it. But for now, my business is Lucky and Lulu with Luis. Check out our page, guys. With our help, pwede kang maging isang negosyante. So, visit our page. Next naman ay Jessie Mendiola baby picture. Maglalagay na lang ako dito ng aking baby picture. Bakit yung hinahanap yung baby picture ko, ha? Bakit? Jessie Mendiola Budoy. Budoy was one of my teleseries na ginawa ko with ABS-CBN. Kasama ko doon si Gerald Anderson. Enrique Hill, nandun din siya. And marami akong natutunan doon kasi ang gagaling ng mga artista na kasama ko. And syempre, napakagaling ni Gerald doon. Yan, isa sa mga soaps na ginawa ko. Jessie Mendiola before showbiz. Before showbiz, ang ginagawa ko ay modeling. I did TV commercials, I did print ads. Nag-start talaga ako as a model, as a commercial model, before ako naging artista at before ako pumasok sa showbiz talaga. We're done sa mga letter B. Let's move on to letter C. Jessie Mendiola, child. I am not sure if you guys are pertaining to may anak ba ako or may child ba ako or as a child. But pinakita ko na yung baby picture ko kanina. As a child, very ano lang din ako, introvert. And mahiyain. Yes, mahiyain talaga ang Jessie girl nyo. Okay. Jessie Mendiola Chanel bag. Siguro yun yung nag-unbox ako dito sa aking channel. Kaya ginugol din. Jessie Mendiola citizenship. My citizenship is Filipino. Yun. But my lineage is Lebanese Filipino. Jesse Mendiola College Degree. I haven't gone to college. Um, di pa ako nagtatapos ng school. But hopefully one day. Actually, that's what I'm planning right now. This year, doon ako magpo-focus. Nag-iipon lang ako ng pera. Para lang din, you know, if I stop working and I focus on my studies entirely, matapos ko kagad. So, that's part of the plan. Next naman, mag-search tayo ng what. What happened to Jesse Mendiola? Nothing. Andito pa rin ako, guys. What happened to Jesse Mendiola and Luis Manzano? We got married. <laughs> What happened to Jesse Mendiola in Sandugo? Bun buntis ako towards the end of the teleserye. Tapos, nalaglag yung baby. Nagkabati kami ni EJ doon. Yun, yun lang yung ending ng character ko. Next naman, Jesse Mendiola, What Am I To Say? Well, medyo nasaktan ako nung time na yun. Kasi ang sinabi ko talaga, what am I to say to that? 
how am I going to respond to that or kung ano ba yung isasagot ko doon sa question na yun. And nung time na yun, medyo kinakabahan ako kasi yun yung time na binabash kami ng sobra ni Luis. Hindi ko lang din talaga alam kung paano magre-react sa napakalaking event na yun. Nangyari kasi yun nung, I think, Star Magic Ball 2016. And that was a few months after namin ilabas sa public na kami na ni Luis. And we got a lot of, you know, hateful comments during that year. Kung baga, diretso, dire diretso lang yung pagsasalita ko, but hindi talaga ako nag-iisip. So, pag nagmamadali ako, nasasabi ko siya without thinking about it. And, hindi ko naman din talaga masasabi na perfect talaga ako mag-English. Hindi naman din talaga yun yung first language ko. But, I try my best to learn, to improve my pronunciation, my grammar. And yung time na yun, I guess, mali lang din talaga yung lumabas sa bibig ko. Nerves got the best of me. Sana next time, if meron man ibang artista or ibang tao na mangyari yun sa kanya, huwag tayo maging, maging, kumbaga huwag tayo masyadong maging mean sa kanila. Just correct them or help them out, but you don't really have to be mean about it. Constructive criticism is okay. But being so hateful about something na sobrang babaw is not okay. Okay, we're done with the Google questions and now we are moving on to IG questions. Ito yung questions na galing sa aking IG followers. Actually, dito ko nakita yung mga wild questions. So, subukan natin sagutin yun. First question, what was the hottest thing you did on TV? <laughs> Oh my god. Meron yung first teleserye ko ever, yung Sabel, yung maliligo sa batis, tapos kapag ka lalabas sa tubig, basa-basa nang nakakamison lang, yung mga ganon. That's the only thing na pwede mo talagang gawin on TV. Kasi syempre, kailangan din natin mag-ingat sa mga ilalabas natin on TV because, you know, everyone watches TV. Kids also get to watch TV. So, kalma-kalma lang ang mga bed scenes, ang mga love-making scenes. Ano po size ng bra mo? Ang aking cup size ay 34B. Yun, yun yung size ng bra ko. What is your biggest pet peeve? Kunwari, kapag nasa restaurant ka, tapos nag-order ka sa waiter, tapos hindi ka nice sa kanya, or hindi ka nag-thank you, or nag-please, medyo naiinis ako sa ganun. So, ang ginagawa ko, pag kunwari, I'm with people, tapos kumakain kami sa labas, tapos nag-order sila or kinakausap nila yung waiter or waitress tapos walang please or thank you. Ako yung nag-please at saka thank you sa kanila. Being polite goes a very long way and si Luis ang nagturo sa akin nun. Next, is it true po ba na worth 5 million po yung wedding ring nyo? Parang hindi naman. Parang feeling ko naman mas mababa naman dun. No, it's not true. Did you share ba on your wedding expenses? Yes, I did. Para sa akin to guys ha, it would be unfair naman din if kaya ko naman mag-share, bakit hindi, di ba? And I think hindi lang sa wedding. Most of the time, pagka kunwari may trip kami ni Luis or meron kami binibili together, nag-share pa rin ako kahit pa paano because I have my own income naman and I work. Next, sex or chocolates? Ang hirap naman. Both. Sorry, I can't choose. Vital statistics. 34, 25, 38. Pag medyo bloated, 26 yung waist ko. Okay, next. Since mag-asawa na po kayo ni Sir Luis, paano, paano po ang arrangement sa household expenses? Uh, share kami ni Luis. Yun nga, tulad na sabi ko kanina, pag may bibilhin kami together, we talk about it. And yun, share kami. What is the weirdest nickname people call you? I guess yung mga bashers, ahas, mga agaw, yun yung weird. Next, what is the most romantic thing that has ever been done for you? There was this time na super pagod ako sa work, as in taping ako back to back. Nagsushoot ako for a movie at that time. Actually, for three movies. Orange dress, mata sa dilim, and tall. Tapos, ginagawa ko dun yung probinsyano nung time na yun. So, talagang kitang-kita ni Luis yung pagod ko. And minsan, naiiyak na lang ako sa pagod. Kasi, I only, parang anong time na yun, ang nakukuha kong sleep lang ay parang 3 to 4 hours. Ang ginawa niya, sobrang sweet nung time na yun. Nagkita kami, tapos, bigla siya naglabas ng bouquet. Tapos, nakalagay dun sa card ng bouquet. Just giving this to you and just letting you know that I'm so proud of you. So, medyo naiyak ako nung time na yun. Kasi, kumbaga, parang, di ba, parang yung mga ginagawa ko naman ng time na yun, wala namang connection kay Luis, trabaho ko lang din talaga. But, you know, he really went out of his way to buy flowers and, you know, to... to 
to let me know that he's proud of what I'm doing for myself. I love you, ha ha. Is Luis good in bed? <laughs> Okay, yun na yun na yung sagot ko. Charot. Okay, next. How did your love for scuba diving start? Well, nagda-dive na rin naman din talaga ako even before pa maging kami ni Luis. But, mas na-addict ako sa diving dahil kay Luis kasi siya, diver talaga siya. And ngayon, I'm getting addicted to underwater photography. Kung baga, throughout the years, nag-level up na yung skills ko sa pagiging diver. So now, nasa advanced open water Diver na yung certification ko. Konting push pa. Mag I'm working my way towards rescue diver certification. So, mas na in love lang din talaga ako sa scuba diving because of Luis. And because of all the creatures na ang nakikita mo underwater, mas na appreciate mo yung, yung creation ni God. Pagka kunwari, unang dive pa lang namin, tas kabababa pa lang namin ng, ng dagat. I would always pray and say na, thank you so much Lord for creating everything for letting us enjoy your creation. Next, what were your insecurities back then? Siguro pagdating sa katawan, my arms, my legs, yung pag-i-English ko, kung tama ba grammar ko, pronunciation. Nung sinisimula ko pa lang yung channel ko, medyo insecure pa ako magtuloy-tuloy. So for a time, nag-stop ako. Siguro, I think, half a year. Kasi parang feeling ko, vlogging isn't for me. Nakakatawa lang na after I got married, parang mas naging inspired ako mag-vlog. And you know, to everyone watching right now, I'm very, very thankful na inaabangan niyo yung vlogs ko. I'm just so happy na dumadami tayo. Thank you so much. Medyo na bawasan na yung insecurity ko pagdating dito sa YouTube. Sana if I could hug all of you right now dito, sana lumalagpas yung happiness ko sa screen right now. I'm very, very thankful to my team, of course, for pushing me na may mga times na kinukulit nila ako mag-shoot ng content or ng vlog. Tapos sinasabi ko na parang nawawalan ako ng gano or parang feeling ko this isn't for me. Pinupush pa rin nila ako na no, you're doing well. So I'm just really, really thankful that I'm surrounded by people na sobrang supportado ako at sobrang mahal ako. So to my team, thank you so much for loving me and of course to all of my subscribers, my followers, for everyone watching right, to everyone watching right now, thank you, thank you so much for the support. Nababawasan niya yung insecurities day by day. E? Bakit si Luis? Hello! Sobrang bait ni Luis. Sobrang ganda ng sense of humor niya. I feel so secure whenever I'm with Luis. I feel so safe. He makes me feel so confident and sure. What more can you ask for in a partner? I'm just really happy that I have Luis in my life. So that's why siya. Buntis na po ba kayo? Ito talaga, ito yung laging tinatanong sa akin ngayon kung buntis na ba daw ako. No guys, hindi pa ako buntis. Don't worry if buntis ako sa sabihin ko sa inyong lahat at hindi ko itatago yon. But right now, not yet. Plan a baby this year? Not so sure kung this year. Siguro when things are better. Sana talaga things get better para then you know, all of us could uh, could really move on with our lives na walang worries or walang anxiety na nakakabit. Are you ready to get pregnant? <sighs> Yes, I am ready to get pregnant. Better than na nasa late 20s na rin ako kesa na nasa 30s na ako. Parang feeling ko mas mabilis ako magbabounce back. And gusto din talaga namin ni Luis na siguro mga 2 to 3 yung children namin. Kaya sana 2 to 3 kids before I turn 33. Ganon. 28 na ako ngayon eh. So meron akong 5 years pa. Wow, ito maganda to. Next question. Are you and JM still friends right now? Hindi naman din talaga kami friends. Kahit pa paano naman si JM. Siyempre naging parte siya ng buhay ko and all is well, nakapag move on na kami parehas and whenever I see him, I say hi and same naman din siya sa akin. Pag nakikita niya ako lumalapit siya, bumibeso siya so yeah, we're okay naman Are your boobies real? <laughs> Yes, they're real, guys. <laughs> Hindi ko na talaga kaya magpadagdag pa dahil bigat na bigat na din ako sa aking hinaharap. At kaya ako nagpapayat noon dahil hindi ko na din talaga kaya yung bigat ng aking boobs. Real talk. Kasi nakukuba na ako and masakit sa likod. Fave position. Position saan? I would love to be on top of the world. Yun, yun na yung sagot ko. How's the night after the wedding? <laughs> 
tulog kami. Super tulog. Kasi pagod na pagod kami after the wedding. <laughs> Next naman, what do you feel when people call you laos? Hindi ko naman din nakikita yung sarili ko as super sikat. Alam mo yun, yung superstar or whatever. Pero I don't feel hurt or anything. In, in, in a way, medyo totoo naman din na hindi na din talaga ako super active. Wala din naman talaga ako magagawa. But I'm just really thankful na kumbaga nasa, nasa circulation pa ako <laughs> ng showbiz. So, okay lang. Why most of people hate you? It's because most people don't really get out of their way to get to know me. And one way to get to know me is, you know, watching my vlogs. Yun talaga yung mga nakukuha kong comments sa aking mga subscribers or followers. Sinasabi nila na mas nakikilala nila ako through my vlogs. Is it true that you are a classic Lopez girl? Just read an article about it on Google. No judgment. No. Hindi po totoo. And hindi ko alam kung saan ang galing yun. But no, it's not true. Bakit kayo nag-break ni JM? Hindi talaga kami meant to be. Kasi parehas kaming sobrang emotional. Hindi lang din talaga siguro yung nag-work sa isang relationship. Kasi syempre, nag-clash kayo palagi. Hindi lang din talaga kami swak. Did you change your mind in marrying Luis when you saw the ring? No. When I saw the ring last year, magkahiwalay na kami ni Luis noon. Nung nakita ko yung ring, it didn't change my mind, but it more of nasaktan ako. What stopped him from doing it? And you know, Luis had his own reasons. Kapag usapan na namin kung ano yung nangyari nung time na yon, sinabi ko sa kanya na, you know, even if nakita ko na yung ring, if you're not really ready, I don't want to force it, and I'm ready to move on. Hindi dahil sa ring kung bakit kami nagkabalikan ng Luis. It's more of like, we both decided to move on with our lives together. Kaya nag-decision kami magpakasal. What will it take for you to leave Luis? Siguro pag nang babae siya. Basta yung paniniwala ko lang. <laughs> when someone cheats, that's the end of the relationship. Eh, hindi ko talaga kaya na ganun. Yeah, you can forgive the person, pero babalik at babalikan kayo nun eh. So, feeling ko, hindi ko kaya mag-move on sa relationship ng ganun. Yay, guys! Finally, natapos ko na lahat ang mga savage questions. Natapos ko na rin yung Google questions. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone, na nagpadala ng mga questions sa inyo. Thank you for watching right now. Please don't forget to like the video, to share the vlog, to subscribe, and to comment below. And sana napasmile ko kayo today. So thank you so much guys. God bless you all. And till the next vlog. Mwah.